So now I'm looking at a day two read. Um, it's been sitting, it's crowing a high B, low C. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna work on refining this space, uh, this read really well. So it's hugging my plaque really good, which means that um, I've done a pretty good job with the wrapping um, and the shaping and that I'm keeping a pretty good um, balance between the read. So I'm gonna take one of my finishing knives um, and I'm going to start at the tip. So you might wanna just measure and make sure that you're not going, pulling that tip too far back. Right now, I'm sitting between 65 and 66, which is really good. I don't like to go below 65 if I can help it. So I'm gonna work on that little corner right there and really focus on the outside of, of the tip. So I kind of think about this as an upside down L. So I'm gonna work on this outside L, this outside. And then just the very, very tip tip, okay? And I'm gonna do that on the other side, making sure that I'm keeping things symmetrical and that I'm not digging too much out of one side or the other. Again, I'm using all parts of my knife so that it will not get dull in one spot. I'm really careful about that and it takes a little while to develop good technique so that you feel comfortable using the entire blade of the knife, but it will save you a lot of time in sharpening. Okay, so now that I've done that to one side, I can definitely see more definition. I'm going to flip the reed over, look at it twice, make sure that I can visually see what I'm going to do. I'm gonna start right here in this corner, down here. Work on that outside, work on that outside edge. Staying away from the center of the tip. Girls, I'm trying to do a recording. Sorry about that. All right, so now I'm gonna look at both sides again. This is looking pretty even to me, and I like to check out my profile real often. And this is springing up in slightly, so I need to work on the corners of my tips a little bit. But I'm gonna clip, I'm gonna crow it, see what we're doing. Okay, so we're definitely in a, we, we brought that pitch down quite a bit. So from this point on, I'm gonna be working on raising the pitch and um, balancing out the reed. So I'm gonna to go to the back, okay. On both sides. Build my windows a little bit. I'm gonna crow it again, see what that did for my crow before I go back to the tip. Okay, and this sucker definitely needs a good clip, so I'm gonna do a clip next. This one, I'm gonna clip a pretty good amount because I can and I need to. So I'm hearing those low crows um, I'm hearing the high crow, but it's still a little bit too low. So you have two options. You can go ahead and work on the tip a little bit more and then, uh, and then do a clip, or you can clip it, see if you can get it closer to pitch, and then work on that tip if you need to. Once I get it to where it's a low C, and we're getting close to our final length. So we're sitting at 70, a little under 70 right now. Um, then I like to stop, okay? For me, I like to wait, let this wait and go to day three so that I can really finish it, let it have a day to, um, to dry out again. And then it'll kind of give me more of a, of a real idea of what this is gonna do long-term, okay? All right, so 
So there's day two read, ready to dry out and become a day three read. Oh, sorry, I'll get better at that later, hopefully.